Hello friends, young children play with any objects available in their surrounding, whether it's an empty shoe box, wrapper or any broken object. They associate such objects with toys and consider their own property. Children are not empty vessel or blank slates to be filled up with information and knowledge that only the school can give, as is generally believed. But they have some intuitive understanding of the world. When children enter early primary class, they bring a lot of different experiences, knowledge and some vocabulary. New learning is thus to be developed based on what the child already knows and understands. It becomes more important that their experiences find place in the classroom learning in the form of sharing. And sharing can take place when they are provided with learning material to explore and play with. To provide lively environment in the classroom, stamping containers and stamp pad has been included in the mathematics learning kit developed by NCERT for the young learners of classes 1 and 2. With the help of this learning material, many mathematical concepts of early grades can be learned. Various activities on measurement, patterns, data handling and shapes can be conducted. This kit consists of hollow plastic solids. There are two hollow cuboids and one hollow cylindrical container, semicircle shape container, one star shape container and one eye shape container and also one hollow prism shaped container. Can you observe these stamps? These stamps are in two different designs. On one stamp, fish is engraved and on the other one, a zigzag design is engraved. Now, you must be thinking, how can we use these stamps in the absence of the ink pad in the classroom? With these stamps, ink pad is also given so that Children can use it easily and teacher need not arrange for the classroom activity. An interesting thing is that these stamp pads are in two different colors, blue and red. Friends, now is the time to introduce you with another interesting aspect of these containers. Let's see here. I'll show you some designs. This is the stamp pad, as I told you with two colors, blue and red. Now I am making a pattern using this semicircle shape. This is how I have created a pattern with semicircle shape and a star. Let's create another pattern. See, I am using a fish with blue stamp. Here it goes, a beautiful design and now I am using a cuboid, hollow cuboid with red color and you can assume the fish in the aquarium and now let me use a prism. Giving a triangle shape. And then I am using a hollow cylinder with red color. This time a variety of shapes are used. And here I finish the pattern with hollow cylinder giving a red circle. This is how I have created two patterns. More patterns you can create using a zigzag design. See? Like this. Then I may use 
a blue, then again a red. Uh, sorry, I did not wipe it. Anyways, let's create something else. Uh, what is left? Oh, this eye shape is left. Is it nice? Okay, let's create something with this now using another hollow cuboid. And again an eye shape. Mm, okay, uh, let me take two eye shape now. Again this hollow cuboid. Can you see the change in the pattern? One eye shape, two eye shape and this time I am going to take three eye shapes and just one cuboid giving a square shape. Can you guess how many eyes I am going to make? Yes, you are right, four. Here it goes. I hope you have enjoyed these patterns. You can also make such patterns using these hollow shape containers and the stamp pad. All these containers work as a stamp using ink. Like this, you can create your own patterns. So friends, let's peep into the classroom and observe how children handle it and learn. It is important to give enough time and space for creating designs. Here it is also important to listen and encourage their ideas or reasons for creating designs. Here, children initiated to form a pattern and could describe the pattern. Objective of the activity were to familiarize all the children with different containers, to provide opportunity to manipulate all the containers and look at the different view of a hollow object like cube, cuboid, prism, etc. To provide intuitive understanding about plane shapes like square, rectangle, triangle, circle and some irregular shapes. Through this activity, teacher tried to provide an opportunity to see the relation between 2D shapes and 3D objects through stamping containers. Friends, let's see another interesting classroom activity on capacity measurement. क्या आप गैस कर सकते हैं कि कितनी चम्मच पानी भरने पर ये कंटेनर फुल हो जाएगा? Estimating the capacity in terms of smaller containers and then verifying it by actual measurement makes the learning of measurement of capacity much more interesting and challenging.
Welcome back friends. In the classroom activity, we saw how the simple activity of finding the capacity of container in terms of number of spoon full of water it can hold become more interesting to the children when they were first asked to estimate the number of spoon full of water it can hold and then verify the actual capacity of the container. Children were excited to know the actual capacity. Then later they were asked to see the relationship among the containers of different shapes. At early primary classes, such learning environment and opportunities boosts the confidence and increases children's interest towards learning. Such activities will help the children in learning the important mathematics concepts like estimation and measurement of capacity, patterns, data handling, relationship between 2D shapes and 3D objects. We believe that you will be able to conduct much more interesting activities in which each child learns in a joyful manner. Thank you.